Violence affects all of us. No one has to do everything, but everyone has to do something. Good morning, BCHS. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, and this is BCTV. The current BCHS R Sports student is Hayden Ballard. Hayden is a senior in Mr. Howard's Greenhouse Technology class. According to Mr. Howard, Hayden has a positive attitude, a great work ethic, and a motivation to learn new subjects in class. He has also described Hayden as a leader in the classroom and in the lab. Mr. Howard says that Hayden will be very successful after graduation, and he has a bright future ahead of him. Hayden has expressed his interest in Mr. Howard's class as well. He says that Mr. Howard makes learning engaging for his all students with fun lessons and many hands-on activities. He also says that Mr. Howard strives to make connections with each of his students, making the class fun and interesting, and cheering up students each day. Art club will be meeting this afternoon, but will dismiss when the band is ready to leave for the district game in Menifee County, approximately 5 through 5.15. Please make appropriate arrangements. Also remember that all artwork for the regional competition at MSU is due by Wednesday at the end of the day, unless you have made other arrangements with Mr. Ramey. TSA members, you will not be meeting this afternoon. However, TSA will have its after school meeting tomorrow. Those TSA members who are attending the regional competition at MSU must be at the meeting tomorrow. Teachers, please remember that the last date to submit board purchase requests for instructional and fee replacement funds is February 24th. Note that all orders and invoices for those orders must be received by no later than May 1st. Attention, juniors and seniors. Prom tickets go on sale February 27th through March 9th. That's right, prom will be here soon. Tickets will be on sale in Mrs. Workman's room during break for $35 each. Juniors and seniors that want to take students from other schools or that have graduated the prom must have a dance date request form completed for these people. You can get these forms outside of Ms. Brandenburg's classroom. Dance date request form must be returned by March 31st. Sophomores interested in being prom escorts, applications are due by next Friday, February 24th. You can get applications outside Ms. Workman's classroom and the prom committee will meet every day during break until the order for prom supplies is complete. The meetings will be in Ms. Workman's room. The Wildcat Leadership Council will be taking a trip to Frankfurt on Thursday, February 23rd. Members can pick up a permission slip from the front office. Please do not wear heels. We want you to dress nicely. However, dresses and ties are not required. Also, remember that you'd, you will be doing a lot of walking, so girls, you probably don't want to wear heels. Remember to bring money for lunch, and you will be leaving at 8 and returning at approximately 5. The Wildcat Club will be taking their reward trip to the 10th Frame Cinema on Friday, February 24th. Congratulations to all of our Wildcat Club members and enjoy your trip. Seniors, the 2017 Whittaker Bank KHSAA Sweet 16 Scholarship is a one-time non-renewable scholarship of $1,500, payable to an institution of higher learning. Applicants shall be seniors who participate in any KHSAA sanctioned sport or sport activity. Scholarships will be based on excellence in three areas, academic, achievement, and leadership and community service. The deadline for the submission is Saturday, February 25th. Please stop by the counselor's office for more information. The Licking River Beekeepers Association is having their 8th annual Northeastern KY Beekeeping School on Saturday, Saturday, February 25th at the Maysville Community and Technical College located in Maysville, KY. Registration for will be from 7.30 a.m. until 8.30 a.m. For more information, visit their webpage at LickingRiverBeekeepers.com. Bath County High School will be hosting a ZAPS ACT prep seminar on Friday, March 3rd from 8.30 to 2. The cost is $80. High school students that participate in the seminar will receive educational enhancement for that day. If you have any further questions or wish to sign up, please talk to Ms. Porter. On Tuesday, March 7th, there will be a, be a Young Women Lead Conference at Eastern Kentucky University. The Young Women Lead Conference is an all-day leadership conference for high school girls focusing on leadership, education, and development. The purpose of the conference is to empower high school girls to embrace their strengths and to reach their full potential. This conference is unique both in its creation and purpose. Young Women Lead is organized by the local participants of SOAR, a leadership development program designed to assist businesses in developing their women for future leadership positions. To register for the Young Women Lead conference and for more information, please visit youngwomenlead.com. Well, that's all we have for today, but remember, Work hard, dream big. 
Have a great day, BCHS, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.